Today we're going to take this image of the cave and turn it into a 360 degree sphere that looks like this using my tool called Z-Form. We will enter into an immersive world and also show you how to record your camera actions that you can ultimately render as frames and compile into a video. I was initially inspired by some of the community who use Z-Form and suggested the idea as well as a creator named Albert who about a year ago posted a very useful video on the same topic. I did not use any of his code, but his video was really useful just to get some type of idea on how to do it. I'll leave a link of his video in the description. All right, let's get started. The very first thing I'm gonna do is change the input type from image to explore 360. Next is open up the original image. So I'm gonna click open image and then find the original image, that one. Then I'm gonna scroll down just a little bit. You have the option to input a corresponding depth map for the image. For this example, I'm actually not gonna use it. I still think it looks pretty good. It's optional. Then I'm gonna click create 360 degree world. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Make sure you're in material preview mode in the top right. I'm gonna rotate a little bit on the Z axis so I can get a look at the front. So I'm gonna do that. The next thing we're gonna do is click on the enter immersive view button. It's right here. Once you enter into this immersive world, you can move around 360 degrees by using your mouse or your touchpad. I'm using a MacBook Pro on the touchpad. If you click on your touchpad or mouse, you can stop moving around and then scroll down a little bit on the right side of the add-on. There'll be a few tips on using your keyboard for the navigation controls. For moving up and down, use your Q and your E keys. You'll use the WASD keys to move forward and backward and right and left. And then for your mouse key, that's how I turn around in 360 degrees by staying in the same place. And then to re-enable your navigation, just click resume navigation again, like that. In the top left, I'm gonna click on view and choose a viewport render image and it will render an image based on the camera view like this. Another cool thing is you can record your camera path. So I'm gonna click on record camera path button here and click on resume navigation to move around. It's recording right now the camera path while we move around like this. I'm gonna go down by pressing Q just a little bit. Oh, and then I'm gonna go back. Oh, I messed up. All right, I'm gonna try this one more time. First, I'm going to click record camera path. Then I'm going to click resume navigation. Let's take a look real quick at the top of the ceiling. Okay, hopefully I don't make you too dizzy. And then let's take a look at the floor like that. All right, now I'm going to go back to the front facing. Now let's take a look at a 360 view of the scene. You will see that there is a seam in the image. It's because I didn't create a true equa rectangular image, but I wanted to show you that it's still possible to create a pretty cool scene, even if you don't have it, like I'm doing here. I'm gonna press escape real quick to go back into the main part of the scene like that, and then click stop recording. Now the video has stopped. We can press play recorded path to watch what we recorded, or you can simply just press spacebar on your keyboard to view it as well. So here's what it looks like. I think it's really cool. Then you'll have the option to render each frame and compile it as a video. Let's stop the video. Last thing we're gonna do is click on Exit Immersive View. And there you go. That's how to use the new feature for Explore 360. I definitely have plans to add more tutorials on how to use this feature, particularly with using a depth map. But for this first one, I wanted to show you that you don't necessarily need a depth map. All right, that's all I got.